sick. It's a freaking dog. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Oh, one more time. <laughs> How many rainbows there are in here? You know you're sick when your lip fields give you double chin. It's like currently 8.30 a.m. and I dragged myself out of bed and I wasn't expecting to wake up sick this morning but I guess now it's fitting because I really didn't want to get out of bed but I love getting up and making myself feel worse. Anything for you guys. So one reason to get up early is because my mom wants to go for breakfast. That's really why I got up. <laughs> a good reason to like get yourself up is when you're like really hungry. It's not good to eat super late at night anyway. So one thing you can always try is like having like dinner at like a proper time and then not having anything else before bed. So that when you wake up, you are hungry and you wanna get up and you wanna eat. That happens to me all the time. And so I'll get up and I'll make breakfast for myself. Um, I love that I have my voice cracks now, that's great. Oh my god. <laughs> so one is set an alarm a lot earlier than you plan to wake up. I do that all the time as well. This is stuff that I do, usually. Set like a few, and the last thing you can do to kind of get yourself actually out of bed is um, book a workout class that you cannot cancel or else you get charged. <laughs> book a workout class that you paid for, and then you're like, fuck, I have to go because I paid for it. You're welcome. I'm going to make a tiny bit of food so I can have like an Advil and it will upset my stomach. Okay, I'm just gonna talk a little bit while I get my water and everything. Yeah. I've recently become obsessed with something in someone. Hold on. I watched the Elvis movie a couple weeks ago before I went to Montreal and I didn't really think much of it. I was like, Top Gun was, because I watched Top Gun before and I was like, you know how those are the two big movies coming out? So I watched Elvis after Top Gun and I was like, mm, I don't know because like Top Gun kept me on, on the tip of my seat. I was like engaged the whole time. Uh, and I watched Elvis and I was like, this is a really great movie. Like, it's a really good movie. But I, I obviously know who Elvis is, but he literally died like, what, 1977 or something? August 16th? I don't know if that's right. If that's right, I'm gonna literally lose it. Where's my phone? I'll put it on the screen if that was right. Everybody, let's roll. And then I rewatched it with my dad and it sunk me into the deepest hole of Elvis and his life and his songs and his just him just him in general he's just freaking an icon same with Austin Butler I love Austin Butler I remember seeing him on like Zoe 101 and like Hannah Montana he was on iCarly too like I remember seeing him on those shows and I always thought I was like damn who's this kid and now he's freaking playing Elvis which is just insane like good for him but Austin Butler did great but then if you just like watch some of Elvis's actual performances it's just absolutely insane. Like he had everything. I'm ranting. Now I'm gonna have frosted flakes. Don't judge me. And I'm planning a trip to go to Graceland and I'm not even kidding. I'm like not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I cut off my face so I'll shut up now. Okay, I'm gonna make my breakfast. Okay, I'm gonna eat. They took the energy out of me. I feel like someone's watching me eat right now. It's kind of like making it uncomfortable. <laughs> it's like awkward. I feel like you guys are just staring at me. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna have some Advil and Tylenol and I'll follow up with you guys. Okay. I don't have the energy to wear something cute today. So it's a shirt from Brandy Millville that says Los Angeles and some blue leggings. Also, look how cute this shirt is that I got the other day. 
Are you kidding me? So cute. I'm gonna put a picture up of what I want to be for Halloween. Hint, it's Elvis. Um, I need to buy a pink suit. But I literally found this shirt from Aritzia too at a thrift store. Look at this. It's like literally the exact shirt he wears under the suit. It's just his is a button up and this one's not a button up. And it was only like 17 bucks. <laughs> breakfast and then I went with my mom we just walked around a little bit and we went to the thrift store because we literally have a bunch right by my house and you guys won't believe what my mom found for me I was just looking around I was looking at the books and then I hear my mom like yell yell in the store I was like what why is she yelling at me there's like uh, probably 20 of these type of boxes and what the hell is she showing me I opened it up and I almost screamed in the store they're all Elvis collectible retro plates i was like <gasps> she's like alexa look i was like oh my god oh my so i bought three of them there's so many there's so many but i just bought three so i'm gonna show you guys <laughs> i hope that like some of you like elvis because you probably think that i'm like actually insane okay so first we have this one this is from 1956 and then it also comes with like this like poster and like this just more information about it this one i was so excited for because it's my favorite song it's from the if i can dream comeback one of him that's my favorite song like one of one of my favorite songs this makes me freaking cry the last one that i got is this is from his aloha from hawaii special this is where one point i think 1.5 billion people streamed this on their tvs like this performance the fact that i know all of this stuff i'm still like not feeling the best to be honest i get really anxious when i get sick and so we were like looking in a different thrift store and i started feeling like really like hot and i started to like panic because so i was like oh my god i don't feel good and i was like mom can we go can we go like i don't feel good she's like yeah yeah we can go one second i mean i'm sure a lot of people watching this suffer with the anxiety and then now like i feel better just when i start to get like really feel not good and i'm not at home i'm like I don't know. I have to leave for work kind of soon, but I'm probably going to read some more of my book right now just to kind of like relax myself a little bit because I'm still not feeling great. Like I still don't feel 100%. How I would say a good way to like kind of motivate yourself to get out of bed is like do stuff that you like to do. Even like you don't have to really do anything as long as you're up and you're out of bed. You just feel so much better. You know when you oversleep, I have a really bad habit of like oversleeping a lot because I work always most of the time in the evenings. I can literally sleep until like 1.30 every single day if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that simply like if you're just sitting out of your bed in like the living room or like the kitchen just like reading a book or go on the balcony go sit outside and just like read your book you're still up you're still doing stuff you know what i mean i'm all about those vibes <laughs> does anybody else's cat sneeze all the time because he sneezes all the time Come here. Okay, let's make something to eat. Sandwich it is. It kind of looks like a Krabby Patty. So I'm gonna eat my lunch. I'm going to finish watching the movie that I started yesterday. It's called Do Revenge. Look at this amazing setup. I'm so excited. Okay, I just got ready for work. I just did a little bit of makeup. There's just like such simple things you can do throughout the day that just make you feel like like you're just breathing in a fresh breath of air. I really do like reading. I do and like people kind of like, yeah, okay, Alexa, I'm sure you do like read, but I actually do. And I'm going to show you the next four books I plan on reading. Right now I'm reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. These are the next couple books that I plan on reading. Literally just got a couple days ago. Glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy. This one I got a long time ago. I actually read it, but I don't remember a single thing. I've had this book for like years. It's called Hector and the Search for Happiness. It's also a movie. And then I got Before the Coffee Gets Cold. There's actually, I think, a part two to this one and just look at the freaking the, the picture itself is just my vibe like the cat and the coffee this book i literally bought such a long time ago and for some reason i just never got into it it's called people we meet on vacation and then the last one that i have to read is called layla by colleen hoover hoover is that how you say it i would think so i have to go to work in like 15 20 minutes i hope this encouraged you to get out of bed and go find some elvis place at a thrift store
<laughs> I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys very soon. Hugs and kisses. Okay. Bye. We can't go on together. We're suspicious.